times, Lakers, Nuggets, back like we never left. We played 82 games. Uh, sorry. We played 83 games. Oh, sorry. We played 84 games to get here. We're back where we started last year. Lakers, Nuggets, playoff basketball. Nuggets, again, the home team. I think personally, before I give my prediction on that, let's go into the, the tape. Again, people exaggerate it. It's been close. All eight games were close going into the final five minutes. Go look it up. They're all close, all of them. And each one, the Nuggets were just good enough to get the win. I'm going to make a bold prediction right now. Lakers win game one. That's it. Lakers game win one. Game one. They win. We'll, we'll talk. We'll probably talk after game two next time we talk because, um, you know, the schedule and all that, it's it's the, the schedule just came out. Game two is going to be on a Monday. It'll be on the road, so I'll still be home. So I think we can maybe do a late night one. We'll see what happens. But. If we're able to do that and talk after after game two, we'll see where, where we're at after two games in Denver. I think the Lakers take care of game one. I think they split it. I think it's 1-1 because they've been knocking on the door. And guess what? Lakers have the momentum of they just played some good basketball. They played well. And I think this is – there were some takes out there saying that, hey, they should lose. I'm like, no. You know what? Go ahead. If you lose in the first round against a great team, so what? People are going to laugh about it. Guess what? They're going to laugh at the Lakers regardless. If it's the finals, they're going to say, oh, oh, and whatever for LeBron. And, you know, it, it, we're going to get talked about regardless because we're the, the the Lakers, right? Like the, the saving grace last year was, oh, you got swept in the Western Conference. I'm like, yeah, well, you weren't there. So, like, again, I'd rather be there and lose. But you know what? So what? Let's play the big bad wolf. This is the team to beat. You got to you, – someone has to do it. So, all right, let's go. Head to head. I think Jamal Murray's been out for a long time. I think he might have some rust. The Lakers are not rusty. They're ready. They're locked and loaded. Yeah, LeBron's also still dealing with his, his issues in his ankle, but overall, he's been playing really good. Yeah, AD has the back spasms, but I don't think it's a major injury. And now that they took care of business, he's going to get four or five days to kind of heal that and, and take care of that. So I think he'll be ready to go. You just saw D'Lo. He's icy as ever. Reeves had a rough game, but he still played good. They played good tonight. They were the better team. You might, you might woulda, coulda, shoulda with Zion and all that, but if you watch that whole game and I ask you who played better, you would pick the Lakers, and they won that game, and they also beat them on Sunday. They've been playing good basketball. They won seven out of the last ten before this playing game. They won the playing game. I'm feeling pretty good about their chances. Dime, how are you feeling about Lakers Nuggets? I'm so excited to watch this again. I don't think it's going to be a sweep this time, but it'll be interesting to see if the Lakers can win close games because all these games get close. And then the Nuggets, just the way they bury teams with that Jokic, Murray, high pick and roll is crazy. I mean, they do all these motion things throughout the game with Jokic, the high post, but when it comes down to it and they go to Murray, Jokic, pick and roll, no coach has found an answer because there is no answer. I try to think about these things. There's no answer. So what you're going to need from the Lakers is – the best versions of themselves defensively, obviously. And you're going to need LeBron and AD and Reeves and D'Lo to all play well. Last time, they didn't play well enough. And there was one guy, well, Reeves did actually to me. But yeah. there was one guy mainly that stuck out, and that's D'Lo. So we're going to see how he's been waiting for this moment to get this back. And then hopefully LeBron won't be super gassed in the games that he can close a little better than we saw in this game or last season. And of course, all season long, I heard it was his foot that was injured, and that was it. Not that he's old. That was his foot that was injured. Okay, let's see it now. His foot's – yeah. I mean, he's at the ankle, but – It's nowhere near – no one's – yes, all Laker fans agree. And LeBron said to himself, I feel better now than I did last year. And he's I think good. you're seeing it, right? You, you saw, you're you seeing highlight dunks. Does he look 100%? No, but again, at this point, no one's 100%. Zion's dealing with something. B.I.'s dealing with something. I just mentioned Jamal Murray. Guess what? It's playoff basketball, check ball. Kawhi, is he going to play? Is he not going to play? And guess what? I'm going to break some news here. Someone's going to get hurt during this playoff run. Giannis is out right now. Guess what? We're all dealing with something. Everyone played 65-plus games. People are banged up. Random injury. Someone who's healthy right now, who's dealing with nothing, is going to, like, unfortunately roll an ankle. I wish it didn't happen, but that's 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 basketball. People are going to get hurt. So guess what? No excuse. He's out there. He's healthy enough to play 40-something minutes. So I feel like he's good. And you do see a lift. You do see him not kind of hobbling like he did last time. So that's another reason why I want to play the Nuggets now. All that could happen while you're waiting. Okay, so what? Let's say they would lose on purpose or whatever, and they beat the Thunder. Okay, 
it's still going to be hard to be the Thunder. You're going to go six games or something, and it's just more chances to get banged up. They're relatively yeah. healthy now. Go for it. Let, let's play them now. Let's play them now. We're not. They're not getting. LeBron's not getting any younger. <laughs> play them now. If we win, hey, we might go to the finals if we win this series, or yeah. we might flame out. I mean, we might here's the thing, out. though. Here, here's the thing, though. If you do beat the Denver Nuggets, you should have the expectation to go all the way. Yeah, I do. Knock I would. And and here's if, the thing. Oh, go ahead. If we beat the Nuggets, then I think we go. Man, could we get Clippers? Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, th- I thought you were gonna say Lakers, Celtics. Let's let's settle down with the Clippers talk. Let, let, let's, oh no, I don't even want to think about Celtics in the finals. Lakers, Celtics, seven. I mean, we almost had it last, right last year. It was the, there were two of the four left, and uh, the Lakers weren't able to. Hold, no, neither team was able to hold up their end of the bargain, right? So we ended up getting Nuggets, uh, Nuggets Heat, which was boring. But Lake, Lakers, Celtics these days would be awful for me. Other, I'm hearing <laughs> it from I'm hearing it from either end. No matter you're like what. I can you're like just pull the plug, right? Like let somebody else win. <laughs> but, dude, but yeah, I, I hear it either way. So my, my my biggest thing though in this series is gonna be uh, just like we talked about how do the Clippers guard Luca? How do the Lakers guard Jokic? Because remember last year, towards the end of game one, you had the adjustment of Rui Hachimura. Remember the, we figured him out that Rui Hachimura <laughs> guarding Jokic in the post. Because I think it is good to have like a lower center of gravity guy. Sure even though he can still get his shot up over the top, there's really no one person that guard Jokic. He's just one of those that was, guys. That was advocate. One. There's yeah. nobody. So, like, right. I mean, unless – except for Victor Wembanyama, I don't know why I'm stuck on Victor. But if we if we can get him in this game, I think we got it. But <laughs> unless a- that happens. AD roaming. But the thing is, it's so hard to roam off of Gordon because he's that lobber that they have. And then KCP, MPJ, and Murray are just snipers. I mean, KCP has turned into one of the best role players in the league. Like, yeah. it's amazing what he's become. And Aaron Gordon's been excellent. As you said, Murray has the injuries. I think one thing that's going to be interesting to watch is how much has the loss of Bruce Brown and the, and the lack of depth that Denver has relative to last year going to affect them. I think guys They're like worse. Peyton Watts, what did you say? They're worse. They're still really good. And they still might Record-wise, be good they're, they're better, though, Edwin. Record-wise, they're better. Yeah, but... Again, records can I, – I think this playoff run is going to be harder for them. Like you said, I think the Lakers get I, one at I, least. So. I agree with this playoff run is going to be harder for them, but I don't know if they've actually gotten that much worse as opposed to everyone else is getting better. Because, like, the Warriors were the sixth seed last year with 44 wins. They were the 10th seed this year with 46 wins. So this West yeah, this year was actually yeah. special yeah. again. And yeah. I think – but you know what, though? Edwin? Here's my here's my account to all this. I think we, we talk about AD being the, the best defender in the league and all this stuff. Tonight he didn't really look that. Why nobody can guard Jokic one on one, but if we want to put you in these conversations with the all time great defenders, can you make life tough for him? Can you? I, I really challenge this. I really think it's time for Anthony Davis to show something there. I mean, who better to guard him? You know. It, uh, but here's the thing, though, he's so strong. Are we saying AD is going to get bullied by him? Maybe. I don't think he'll get bullied, but he gets canceled out, and that's what that's what's tough because when. Let's just pretend they watch each other, right? Like, ah, the numbers and stuff, it's about even. Then it becomes the role players. And you just mentioned KCP's on fire. That's why it's also a D-Lo series. The it's numbers will not series. be it – is, it is absolutely a D-Lo series, but the numbers will not be even. This is Jokic. She puts up a triple-double in his sleep. No, I'm just saying, even if they were, let's pretend that, like, what you said, right? AD, like, amazing. He doesn't AD's even doesn't averaging, if, if AD's averaging a triple-double with his defense, you're winning the series. There's no doubt. But, but that's what I'm saying. I think even – well, yeah, maybe. But you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, okay, if they would cancel each other out, their their numbers would just be a, a, a zero, right? Okay, well, then it becomes LeBron and friends versus Jamal and friends. And I think when you do that math, you also probably still pick the Nuggets because you're like, I know what I'm getting out of KCP, Aaron Gordon, MPJ. Really? Yeah, I think, I I think I you do. I disagree, honestly. I think you guys have are more equipped, uh, especially with the way Ru- – I mean, here's the thing. Their starting lineup might be the best in the league. Your bench hasn't actually been that great, so I guess it's kind of a wash. In theory, if Spencer Dinwiddie delivered more, maybe, but you can now right. it's, it's going to be the battle of the starting lineups at the end of the day. Yes, it's it's a battle of starting lineups, and that's why I'm saying again, I I, I love D'Lo. I'm so happy he's here. You know, I'm so happy he didn't get traded. I didn't think those trades were were good enough. I agree with what they did. I, he literally sealed the game tonight. Right, it was a one point game. He hits the three. He's going to have to do it in this series, though. This series was bad right. for him last year. He you're has right. to be that. If we if we get the D-Lo we saw today, you're correct. 
But history says we don't get that D'Lo. He played bad in the opening game against the Nuggets uh, to start the year. He hasn't played great against the Nuggets. Even this year, he's played better, but not that good. And when it mattered last year, he got killed. If he comes out, if we come back on, on basketball and through the roll and we're like two for seven from D'Lo, one for five, three turnovers, we're going to be like, yeah, see, this, this isn't enough. So, again, the pressure's on. I know he's going to be as cool as a cucumber. He's going to be icy. Let's just hope the, the shots are there. But he's going to be a big factor. If we get the deal that we've gotten this year in the playoffs, that's what changes that from a sweep to a six, seven game series. If you get yeah. that deal, who's like getting killed on defense and he's not giving you anything on offense, then you might see Max Christie. And then, then we're in trouble. He's like, okay, we got Max Christie out here. He hasn't played in like two years, you know? <laughs> it's like, uh oh, not good. So before I give my uh, prediction, we're going to go to you, Dime. Lakers, Nuggets. What happens? I'm going Nuggets in six. I, I do kind of agree with your point now that I think about it in terms of, okay, what's better? Uh, Yoke is your supporting cast if you take him away or AD supporting cast. Obviously, I think LeBron's a better floor raiser than Jamal Murray, and I still think he's a better player than Jamal Murray. But the one thing about the, the Nuggets role player guys is their defense. You can always guarantee good defense from, from KCP and Gordon. And then MPJ's made a lot of strides at that end of the floor and he's big. So that's the one thing you can guarantee that you can argue they're maybe better complimentary because they're defense first guys around two electric offensive players. Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, though, what gives the nuggets the edge in every series is having Jokic. And then when you have a great supporting cast around the best friend in the world, it's a very hard thing to beat in any era that you play in. So yeah. it's going to take a lot, but I think the Lakers are one of the teams that are best equipped to give them a hard time because I think, IQ wise with LeBron and Anthony Davis. I think you need to, you can't be a dumb team and beat Denver. That's why I really don't know if Boston will beat them, but we'll see how much their IQ has come if they meet in the finals. But I'm going with the Nuggets in six. However, it won't be a sweep this time. It's going to be a great series to watch. And I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything, but yeah, I, I think, I think I pretty much nailed everything that I was going to say. I'm definitely picking with my heart a little bit here. I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to go Lakers in seven. I think they split the one, one, uh, the first two games. I think they win both home games and they go up three, one, but then the nuggets win games five and six. And you think, Oh, they got it. And the Lakers take care of business in seven. I think the difference is going to be deal is going to step up. I think you're going to get a healthier LeBron. Who's going to give you those. I mean, remember, and in that sweep, that final game, he gave you 40 on the one foot. He gave you 40 points. And they narrowly lost. I think those narrow losses become narrow wins a couple times. And it's going to be great. You're going to see some goats. You're going to see some heels. I think Reeves has a game where you're like, oh, Reeves won it. I think D'Lo has a game where you're like, D'Lo got his revenge. I think LeBron will be consistent. I think he will be stat watching with AD all the time. I think defensively, he's going to do a great job. He's going to have his games where like he scores 15. And he's going to have his games where he scores 27. The Lakers will win the ones where he scores 15. They'll lose the ones where he scores. Wait, they'll win when he scores 27. They'll lose when he scores 15. And I think when you add it all up, I think this time the difference will just be the Lakers get just enough from those role players in that game seven. And LeBron brings it home. And they knock out the defending champs in the first round. And they get their revenge. And LeBron has one more chance, at least before we see what happens in the postseason, to get number five and number 18, which is the one that matters more for the Lakers. And they'll be – maybe we'll be on a collision course. Lakers Clippers just meeting at Crypto for a chance at the Larry OB. Dying, why are you frowning? That's what you want, right? Like, that's what you want. Like, I've, Lakers Clippers. I've, I've never wanted Lakers Clippers. I don't understand why this <laughs> – people won't think I want this. I want OKC Clippers, so it's 99% Clipper fans in the building. That's what I want. Um, uh, I, I see, yeah. I think the Denver Nuggets – it's interesting about this series because we can sit all day and, and talk about like schemes and what, what plays work well and all this, what lineups, but it's we don't really need to because these two teams haven't changed too much from last season, and we just saw them play in the playoffs last season. So it's going to be a lot of stuff that we saw, just yeah. a matter of who steps up. And as we said, with Denver, they lost some depth. We'll see how that pays off. But with the other series, you got way more to analyze and stuff. How this – we haven't seen them, so – yeah. yeah, dude, I can't wait. I think we got three absolute banger series uh, in the West. Uh, and it's going to be four as well. So it's going to be amazing. Um, I also want to end it with, if, unless you have anything else to say, I 